What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. As you guys can see, I put my Funko Pops and my Patrick Waugh bobblehead in the background here. And hopefully moving forward, I will try to remember to put these up for the background just because there's a mirror on the back wall and it just looks odd recording, which is why for these videos, I usually face them down. But I'm going to try this today for this video. And if there's any videos here and there for my hockey cards that don't have this in background, that means they were recorded before this one. So today we have this box of 2019-20 SP. I have really good luck with these and I've been collecting these and purchasing these quite a bit. You've seen them before here on the channel. So I decided to get another box here to try my luck. There's a couple things that I'm looking forward to and I'm looking for the complete set. So let's get the packs out here. It's eight packs total. This here I was getting from a hockey card store, a hockey card shop that's sold them for 30 bucks. Now, unfortunately, they are out of stock. I bought the last one just the other day, and they're struggling to find more. So hopefully I can find more in the future. But I also have these that I've been getting from Walmart, packs of three. And Walmart had them priced wrong for $8 when they should be $16. So I have some more of those to open up in the future. But today we're just going to stick with this box here. So first four packs here. I'm just going to put the packs here and see. Hopefully this will be better videos moving forward. But as of right now, I have 32 videos kind of waiting on my backlog that I have yet to upload that I've recorded over the past year. So we will see. Up first, first pack here, Sean Monahan. Now this is the blue version, which I'm not sure if I have it in my collection. So I'm just going to put it off to the side until I 100% know. Carry Price, which I know I do not have. This is just the silver base. I don't know why it's not focusing here. There we go. Eh, somewhat. So I don't think I have that one. I'll put that there. Next is Austin Matthews Authentic Profiles. I do not have this one in my collection. So that one's nice. I like it in the uh, profiles, even though I'm not a Toronto guy. And I do not like Toronto... In my opinion, it's still nice to get an Austin Matthews card. And I lucked out. We got a Rookie Authentics for Elvis Mer Lincolns. I always butcher his name. If I did, I apologize. I really wish that he didn't get injured in the playoffs. I think that Columbus would have gotten further. They at least eliminated Toronto, which I was rooting for that. And that was awesome. But this jersey card, I would have preferred it to be a blue patch. But the white one's still nice. I believe I've seen this going on eBay for roughly $15 to $20. Now, this one's staying in my personal collection. So, there is that. That's awesome. That's a nice hit right out of the first pack. Now, comment down below what you guys think I should do moving forward for future videos. I am going to hopefully be keeping the Funko Pop and the figures in the background here. But should I put my little stands up so whenever I get hits, I can put them on the stands? Let me know down below. I'm not sure if that's something you guys think would look cool or better. I'm just trying to improve the quality of my videos. Sorry if you guys hear a garbage truck. The garbage is just coming now and it's super late. So we have a base for Sidney Crosby. Now I do have this card, so this one is just going to be put into my overstock. Jake Gunsell. I always put your names. You guys know this. It's nothing new with me. Zach Wierenski. I think I have it. Unless it's just the blue version. Even though I put it in my overstock or in the ones that I think I already have. I always go through them at the end of the video just to make sure. Cam Atkinson. I know I have that one. And we have an Adam. I'm going to butcher his name. Bovist. SP Rookie. Let it focus here. So that's nice. I do not have that rookie card right now. We'll just put it there. Alright, next pack. I'm going for the complete set for at least the silver, maybe the blue in the future. Not 100% sure. Jacob Troba. I might have it. I'm just going to put it here saying I don't because it's the blue version. Malkin. I don't think I do. I probably do. If you guys seen my other videos for this, you guys probably seen that I might have some of these that I'm saying I don't. Tom Wilson, I believe I do. We got a Nicholas Hogg, I'm going to say that's his name, probably butchered it, his Rookie Authentics, which I do not have this one, I believe, 
who knows, I probably do. I'm going to say I don't just because it's a Vegas card and I'm not familiar with the Vegas cards, the ones I have in my collection yet. Still going. And then we have a numbered card for Joel Faraby. Probably butchered that. It is a SP Rookie Authentics numbered 493 out of 1199. So that's actually really cool. I've been doing really, really cool with first I'll get somebody's rookie card. Then I'll get their jersey card because I have this player's jersey card with a nice orange patch. And then I get a numbered card from them. So hopefully we can get some more stuff like that. I think that's just ironic, but it's pretty cool. I'm looking for autographs too. I only have one autograph, which I think is really cool. Rasmus Dahlin. Don't think I do have that one. Eric Carlson. Blue. I know I have. Razzlin, I always butcher names, and that one's probably going to get a lot of hates. Matt Dumba, I do not have this one. Quite frankly, I do enjoy the player, so put that there. And we have an authentic profiles for Alex DeBrinkett. That's really cool. Huge fan of his. I've been getting a lot more of his cards lately. What am I doing? I'll put that in the profiles one. Um, I wish that one was numbered. Moving on to the next pack here. Try to go quickly because I don't know how much longer I have to record videos today. Connor Hellebuck. Don't think I have that one. Matthew Barzal. This is blue. I'm going to say I don't just because I don't have too many of the blue. Dougie Hamilton. I already have. Pierre-Luc Dubois. I'll put it in the pile. No. Like I said, I'll check at the end of the video um, on my own time. David Gustafsson. SP Rookie. I do not have this one. That one's really cool. I tend to usually not get too many Winnipeg Jets um, cards at all. It's very rare for me. Sergi Bobrovsky. I have a small PC for him, so this one will be nice. But I'm going for the complete set, so it's probably going to go in that one. But I don't have any cards with him since he's been on the Panthers. So that one's really nice. Tory Krug. Blue. I'm going to say I don't have it. Matthew Kachuk, overstock, I already have. And Jonathan Tays, already have. If you guys want, I'll hopefully try to remember to leave my eBay uh, links down below because some of the cards that are overstock, I put them in mystery packs and sell them on eBay. We also have a Kirby Datch uh, SP Rookie Authentics, which I think I have, but I'm going to put it here for not. If not, it will be in my mystery packs on eBay that include a jersey card, autograph, rookie, or something nice along those lines. A Jacob Vrana. I think I do have that one. Mark Stone, blue. I think I have both versions of the blue and the silver base. We have Dylan Stromey. I already have it. I'm getting a lot of repeats. Oliver Wallstrom. I already have his marquee rookie, but I absolutely am growing on the player. Like, I didn't know anything about him. Once I started getting his cards from opening these packs, I started to look into him, and he's really, really good. So, I think that is awesome. I also have, I believe, a numbered card from him, and I know I have his jersey patch from this set as well. So, that is overstock. That one here will be going on my EBA mystery packs. And we lucked out. We got another numbered card for Brad Frick. Marchand authentic profiles uh, numbered out of 649 numbered 577 the only thing I don't like about the profiled numbered cards is how the background has this silver going across so at first I didn't know it was numbered I should have known because all the other ones the other uh, authentic profiles are blue. This is silver border. So that should have been a clear giveaway for me. But it kind of the numbers blend into the lines at the back. But anyways, that's a nice one. I do have a PC from Brad Marchand. I am going to be putting that in it. That one was pretty cool. And we have one pack left. I don't know if we're going to get another jersey card. Because I've been averaging out. Um, and the box even says one jersey card, numbered card, or autograph per box. We got two numbered cards, a rookie numbered card, a profiles numbered card, and a uh, jersey card. So we did get three when it's only supposed to be one. Steven Stamkos, I already have. We're in the last pack here. 
Sebastian Aho. I don't think I have the blue variant. Anders Lee. Might have, and I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. Patrick Kane, I know I have it, but if I do have it, this is going in my small PC for him in the binders, so I'll put that off to the side. And the last one is Joel Espernance. I always butcher his name, but I already have this one in my collection, so this one, just like Wallstrom, is going to be going on my eBay mystery pack. So I'll try to leave that link down below if you guys want to check it out. But these are awesome. This is the complete box. Open up all eight packs, so you're only supposed to get one jersey card, number card, chase card, or autograph. We got one jersey card for a player that I really like. So that one's staying in the personal collection. That is awesome. And we also received a Profiles numbered card for uh, Marchand. Why did I say Brushand? Probably combined his first and last name there. And then we also have a rookie numbered card for Faraby. So that's pretty cool. You're only supposed to get one of those, and we received three, which is usually what I've been getting out of these boxes. So if out of the box in Ottawa ever gets these back in stock, I'm going to purchase them because I'm still missing some for the silver base. I'm still missing some for the blue base, or probably a lot. And I want to collect as many of the rookies as I can. Plus, I love getting the jersey and numbered cards and autographs, and you guys know this. So comment down below what you guys think of this video setup. Should I do it more in the future with the Funko Pops? And other figures in the future, maybe I'll change it up down the line. But I think it looks really cool. I'm going to leave this video here. See you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.